from desolate frozen tundras to the roof of the world? Here are 20 of the most remote locations on Earth. Hey, we've got to recognize Danny Romero for telling us that not only does he enjoy epic wildlife, so does the whole city of Chicago. Thanks, Daniel. And here's another shout out to the Windy City for the great support. Good on you. And let us know how you like this episode. And now let's get to the countdown. Via La Estrella. This isn't only a town, but a research station located on King George Island, less than 80 miles off the coast of Antarctica. Owned by Chile, the tiny hamlet has a population that can fluctuate between 80 to around 150, depending on the season. It's also the location of a unique experiment, where whole families are exposed to isolation and harsh living conditions. Sources indicate it's a way to see how they can create the semblance of a normal life while living in such a remote location. Macquarie Island. Located halfway between Antarctica and New Zealand in the southwest Pacific Ocean, the uninhabited island was discovered by accident in the early 19th century. A small staff of 20 to 40 scientists and researchers are based on the island today which they share with a large array of wildlife, including elephant seals and millions of penguins. It was named a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1997. Pitcairn Islands While the name refers to four volcanic islands in the South Pacific Ocean, only the island of Pitcairn is inhabited by around 60 people. The location might be best known for where the mutineers from the Bounty landed in 1790. Most of the island's inhabitants are descendants of that group. Easter Island also known as Rapa Nui, this famous location is considered part of Chile, even though that country is more than 2,000 miles away. The nearest inhabited island was mentioned in the previous segment, Pitcairn Island. It's about 1,200 miles distance. Of course, Easter Island is best known for the 887 monuments called Moai found scattered about the region. They were crafted out of volcanic rock by the indigenous Rapa Nui people. Located in the southern Pacific Ocean, it's known as Easter Island because European explorers first encountered it on an Easter Sunday in the 18th century. Alert! As of 2016, an estimated 62 people lived in this small village in Nunavut, Canada. A little over 500 miles from the North Pole, Alert is recognized as the world's northernmost permanently inhabited location. Along with the 62 inhabitants, there are many temporary residents who work in various military intelligence and atmospheric monitoring capacities. I2 Kortormiat, Greenland. One of Greenland's most isolated towns has around 450 residents and is situated between the country's national park, one of the largest in the world, and the world's largest fjord, the Scoresby Sund. The area is known for its wildlife, including polar bears, seals, and whales, as well as for the colorful structures that dot the landscape. Palmerston Island. Located in the southern Pacific Ocean, this small coral atoll is located within the Cook Islands. Because the coral reef stands so high in the water, seaplanes can find it difficult to land, and waters outside the reef are rough and choppy. That results in the island receiving supply ships only a few times each year. Did you know it was discovered by Captain Cook in the 18th century? Svalbard. This is a territory of Norway that's located above the Arctic Circle. Of the 2,700 residents, about 2,100 live in Longyearbyen, recognized as the world's northernmost town. That extreme location guarantees that residents will experience months of continuous darkness, or months of continuous daylight, depending on the season. Did you know the Global Seed Vault is located there? That's the supply of the world's crop seeds that are stored underground for safekeeping in the event of a global catastrophe. Barrow, Alaska. Located above the Arctic Circle, it's the northernmost city in the US and is known for its polar night. When the sun sets in November, it won't rise again for around 65 days, or sometime late in January. The most recent census indicated around 4,200 residents in Barrow, but the lengthy polar night and harsh conditions are expected to reduce that number. Supai Village. There are no roads into or out of this secluded settlement in Arizona. It's located around 2,000 feet deep within the Grand Canyon, and is the capital of the Havasupai Indian Reservation. The only way to get there is by helicopter, on foot, which is an 8-mile hike, or by mule. In fact, this is the only location in the U.S. where mail is still delivered by mule. A little more than 200 people live here, and will receive visitors, although the area is subject to flash flooding. It's been called the most isolated community in the lower 48 United States. So maybe it's no surprise that Supai is also considered one of the quietest places on the planet. The Desolation Islands. They're more formally known as the Kerguelen Islands and are located in the southern Indian Ocean. At around 2,000 miles away from civilization, the volcanic archipelago consists of some 300 islands the largest of which is Grand Terry and is French territory. Depending on the season, the population can change from around 45 to 110 inhabitants, most of whom are scientists and researchers. 
Cape York Peninsula. It's considered Northern Australia's largest area of unspoiled wilderness, and one of the last such locations remaining on Earth. The vast region is mostly populated by Aboriginal tribes and is extremely difficult to access. Two roads pass north and south from Cape York Peninsula to Cape York and are best suited for four-wheel drive vehicles, and only during the dry season. Did you know the tip of Cape York is the northernmost point of the Australian mainland? McMurdo Station Located on the northern tip of Antarctica, this is a research facility found on Ross Island, and it's one of the most inaccessible spots on Earth. And around 1,200 scientists call this place home, mostly during the summer. It's gotten a bit easier to get there and back recently. Three airstrips have been built, and the researchers now have access to amenities like TVs and gyms. La Rinconia de Peru. Located at the base of a massive glacier more than three miles above sea level, this town is located in the Peruvian Andes, and it's the world's highest permanent settlement. This location has the largest population of any on our list, at around 50,000. But it's a harsh place to live, and not just because of the environment. The gold mining town has no laws, no police, and no running water. And electricity didn't get there until the 21st century. Devon Island. Found in Nunavut, Canada, this island has one of the lowest populations of any location on our list, because you can't go lower than zero. Although I'm sure someone out there can prove that wrong. Thanks to that big goose egg, Devon is the largest uninhabited island on Earth. The nearest population of more than 200 is about 50 miles away. Did you know the area has been used by researchers to test technologies designed for use on missions to Mars? Oymyakon, Russia. Looking for a place to beat the heat? This location in Russia should suit you. Oymyakon is located in the Sakha Republic, and in 1933, the temperature plummeted to minus 90 degrees Fahrenheit, or minus 68 degrees Celsius. That's the coldest verified temperature recorded in the Northern Hemisphere. Situated just a few hundred miles from the Arctic Circle in Siberia, about 500 people live here. Hostile winter weather means planes cannot land, and the nearest major city is more than 500 miles away. Bouvet Island. Some sources claim this is the most remote and uninhabited island in the entire world. The area is almost completely encased by a glacier, and there's very little life to be found. The nearest land is a thousand miles south, and that's Antarctica. Adding to the harshness, you have to arrive by helicopter since there are no ports available. This would be the place to get away from it all. Tristan da Cunha. This is the main island in a group of islands that's considered to be the world's most remote archipelago. The population numbers around 270 individuals, making it one of the most isolated places on the planet inhabited by humans. Located in the South Atlantic Ocean, the volcanic island is around 1,500 miles from South Africa. From there, it's about a three-week journey by boat. Amundsen Scott South Pole Station. This one is a U.S. research station located at the southernmost place on Earth, the South Pole. No permanent human structures existed at the South Pole prior to its construction in 1956, and there was only minimal human presence in the Antarctic interior overall. The station has been rebuilt and upgraded several times since then. While there's a peak population of 200 researchers there in the summer, that number drops to around 50 in the winter, when temperatures can drop to minus 99 degrees Fahrenheit, or minus 73 degrees Celsius. The Roof of the World. That's a rather dramatic name for the Tibetan Plateau, but hey, it's an apt description. At an average elevation of some 14,800 feet, it's the world's highest plateau, measuring more than 950,000 square miles. The Changthang region, located in the plateau's northwestern area, is definitely one of the world's most remote locations. Average altitudes can exceed 16,000 feet, more than three miles, and temperatures can plunge to minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. The inhospitable conditions understandably make this region unattractive to visitors. After Antarctica and northern Greenland, it's the third least populous location in the world.